Hello and welcome everybody! We have some exciting new content for you today in the world of Warhammer 40k. Steven Luca here from MiniWarGaming.com bringing you the new 10th edition Necron Codex going up against some Chaos Space Marines, specifically the Iron Warriors. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, and let's see how the Necrons have changed or adapted. We play and call it work. Mini War Gaming's Warhammer 40k Battle Report. This is my Necron list today. Now, I will be blunt, I'm not veering too far away from my preferred way to play them. I've been playing Necrons for a long time and I like to play them in a very specific way, though I will try something a little different for you guys all watching at home. I am sticking with the Awakened Dynasty for my first play of 10th edition Necrons with their codex just because I want to see how the detachment has changed from its index variation and what things I like to adjust because this would be my favorite way to play Necrons no matter what, though there are a couple of other detachments that have piqued my interest and a couple that have not. I just don't care about some of those things. <laughs> However, I will play them in the future because I don't think I'd be doing it a service if I didn't. Anyways, my force will be led by a Necron Overlord. I don't care too much for the new model. I like durability over mobility. So, mobility? Mobility? That's the word. I like his uh, minus one damage, which he still has here. Uh, he'll be the Warlord, and he will be equipped with the... It used to be Sepaternal Weave. Now it is called the Anegic Dermal Bond. I believe that's the pronunciation. It gives him a four up, feel no pain. And they finally corrected the fact that you can't put enhancements on Catan Shards. Thank you. Though, frankly, with their update, they don't need it that much. He will be joining a unit of Lich Guard, which have, well, gotten their Eternal Guardian ability essentially fixed. It has been nerfed, but it should have never been in that previous state anyways. Now it works like everyone else's bodyguard ability. Joining that unit will also be a Technomancer, naturally, uh, on loan from the Sawtech Dynasty here. They're good friends, obviously. He will be equipped with a Canoptic Cloak, and I will be giving him one of the new Awakened Dynasty enhancements called the Netherrealm Casket. It'll give the new its stealth, giving it a little bit more durability and the Technomancer ability as well. The rest of my force will include two Plasmancers. We're going for a more an aggressive build today as opposed to Tar Pits with Warriors. Uh, these Plasmancers have no enhancements themselves. They will be joining two different units of Immortals today. One of the Immortal units will have Gauss Blasters and the other Immortal unit will have Tesla Carbines. Again, just trying out the difference between the guns. They themselves haven't changed too much, so I just like them both for different reasons. I will be running a Locust Lord with a Resurrection Orb and a Lord's Blade and we've got the Veil of Darkness on him. I typically just run that on him anyways to give the Locust Destroyers who will be joining, six of them, the ability to teleport around the map once per game if they need to find themselves in a better position. The last elements of my list will be two units of six Tomb Blades. I've been wanting to give them a try on the table for a long time and I figured why not now? Everything's changed. I haven't really got to see what they did before but let's see what they get to do now. I am running the Tesla Carbines on both of them. That is just my favorite build for them right now. They are not going to have shield veins and they are going to be ignoring cover instead of stealth, because the whole philosophy of them is they're just never gonna get shot. So they probably don't need stealth too much, nor do they need the extra armor save unless they're being caught in melee. And if they're getting caught in melee, they done messed up or they're there on purpose anyways, to act as a screen or something of the such. And lastly, two Necron reanimators, or Canoptic reanimators, uh, they have changed their ability. They have just straight up reduced its capabilities. I don't want to say nerf because I've uh, been of the opinion it should have never been 12 inches to begin with. Hate me for it if you want, but this does allow a lot more counterplay for your opponent, which is important because you want to have opponents to want to play against you when you're playing your armies. So that is my list today. Let's go take a look at what Steve is bringing to the table. For my Iron Warrior list for today, I am led by a Lord Discordant on Hellstalker. Now here's the funny thing. This guy here has the Marcus Slanesh and the Toxicating Liquor and Elixir Enhancement only because I needed to spend a few points on enhancements and I couldn't afford the generic enhancement. So I had to give this guy the Mark of Slanesh because everybody else in my army is Mark of Chaos Undivided. We got two Masters of Possession, one Sorcerer, a Warp Smith, two Cultist Mobs, a couple of squads of Legionnaires. There is an auto cannon, a plasma gun, a heavy melee weapon, and a plasma pistol on the aspiring champion. They also have an icon in there. Identical squad, two of those. We also have Havocs. Uh, the champion has a flamer and a chainsword. We got a squad of Possessed, 
and two Venom Crawler. That's my Iron Warriors for today. Today's mission will be one of my favorites out of the Leviathan mission pack, Purge the Foe. Uh, this is Hold More, Kill More, the mission, a classic. We'll be playing that on a hammer and anvil style deployment with one objective directly in the middle flanked by two other objectives in no man's land and to no one's surprise, each player has an objective in their deployment zone as we deploy along the short table edges of the battlefield across from one another. The specifics of Purge the Foe will start in the second battle round for the objectives. You'll get four for each one you control. Sorry, you'll get four if you control one and then you'll gain an additional four if you have more than your opponent. Now, the twist to Purge the Foe is, starting the first battle round, you are going to gain four victory points if you destroyed a unit. And then at the end of the battle round, this one is where it's unique, is that both players are going to figure out how many units they've destroyed that battle round, and the winner of that comparison will gain an additional four victory points. That was a really wordy way to explain that, but hopefully you got the message across. And Vox Static will be our mission rule, making the command reroll stratagem cost two in addition to the new orders. And, uh... We're just playing straight Warhammer here. No rerolls, essentially. I mean, under desperation, it exists. And don't forget, if you want to come by and play some war games with us here at Mini Wargaming, go to miniwargaming.com slash challenge. I'm not actually pointing at anything important. I'm just, I talk with my hands like most people, I suppose. But go to miniwargaming.com slash challenge for all the details. 40K AOS, obviously, like, welcome. You're more than welcome to come on by. Always looking for Horus Heresy, uh, Lord of the Rings, Marvel Crisis Protocol, the the rumblings through the grapevine of the old world coming out in the future. It does take a while to schedule a trip somewhere, so keep that in mind if you maybe want to do something like that in the future. And uh, yeah, so come on by. We're in Welland, Ontario, which is right by Niagara Falls, 20 minutes away. If you know where Niagara Falls is, you know where we are. See you soon. And two things to know with this video that changed in hindsight. I suppose. Uh, Steve and I did a post game which was a lot longer than we thought it was going to be. So we ended up just cutting it from this video and uploading a completely separate video that is going up at the same time as this one and still free on YouTube. So after you're done watching this battle report, by all means go check it out. It ended up being, well, like we usually do in our post game. It's like a podcast. But we end up talking about the new Necron Codex a lot and our insights into it and how we felt about it and the things that we liked and the things that. Well, I don't think we talked about too much things we didn't like. I like a lot of things about the new Necron Codex anyway. So if you're done watching this battle report, just go ahead and check out that video if you want to listen to a couple of old dudes talk Warhammer for a little bit. And then the second thing to note is that uh, I cheated a little bit. I don't think it would have mattered mechanically in the game, but psychologically it would have. Uh, you can no longer join Cryptex to Lich Guard. That is big. Uh, I had a Technomancer in my Lich Guard unit this game, and there are a lot of other small changes in the Necron Codex I may have missed. So if you can, let me know in the comments down below, and that'll help me catch them for my next battle report. I caught this one afterwards, since I had a little bit more time to study it. Uh, and again, Steve never really attacked the unit, but I think it's more because of the fact that the Technomancer was in the unit. But, you'll see towards the end of the game why it may not or may have mattered. Uh, just, you know, Keep in mind, check out all those things. Uh, that is a pretty big change for the Codex overall, but uh, it'll make a lot more sense as you're playing the book in the future to, uh, to see why that was changed. And then, uh, yeah, otherwise, enjoy the battle report. That's like the only thing I can really think of. But anyways, there will be more Necrons to come as I go through all of the Dynasty, so stay tuned for much more Necron content to come out throughout the weeks. We are going to be fighting on a urban table here today. So here's my list going down the line. I got Immortals with the Plasmancer. It's actually just pretty much a redundant list. You got Tomb Blades, who can scout, Lich Guard with the Overlord and the, the Nerd, uh, the Reanimator, Tomb Blades, Reanimator, Destroyers, and there is the other Immortals in that building over there. And then on Steve's side, we got Legionnaires, Master of Possession, Venom Crawler, uh, Archdor uh, Discordant. Thank you. Cultist, Cultist. Oh, possessed with the master possession over there, spooky. And then more legionnaires, havocs, your uh, sorcerer, and a venom crawler. Oh, and a warp smith. Actually, I didn't with say the havocs. Yeah. yeah, with the havocs. What does he do with the havocs? Nothing. You just you I painted enjoy. them on. Put them on the table. Okay, fair, <laughs> absolutely. Well, he's, he's got a hammer and he can heal vehicles. Yep. So there's always that. Uh, we are playing with the runes that you can't see the bottom level. So it's gonna be very tight confines. You have to have good clear line of sight to target your enemy on this one. So shooting will be heavily restricted uh, as is typically should be you know, on an urban kind of game. It's like, if you think it's too much, this is how the Cities of Death used to play back in the previous editions of the game. You just never got any shots. You had to get nice and close and deal with the enemy and then crossfire where applicable. Anyways. That is kind of it. We are good to start this game, I believe. We're going to go ahead and roll off to see who's going to go first here. Uh, you don't have to do anything, right? 
No. No, I got a five. Ooh, what I get? A five. Oh. And bloop! Three, six, right? Yes, yeah, probably a six. Yes, it is. <laughs> Proven to be six. So it will be the Iron Warriors turn one. One thing I forgot to mention is I believe we're both going to be playing tactically. I typically always do as a rule of thumb. Yeah, I same. Yeah, I, it just makes better content for like different content. Not I shouldn't use the word better. It makes different content because every game you could we could play the same game with these two armies all the time, and then it would just be different outcomes and depending on when you hit the secondaries at the right times. Also, I didn't mention. I like to play with a little house rule on the painted army bonus thing, and Steve has agreed to play along. Because it adds another layer to the game. It's tertiary objectives. We have primaries and secondaries and tertiaries now. There's not a whole lot of weight behind the warlord kill in the game. So I like to award the player who kills the enemy warlord for four victory points. In this case, that's your warlord, I assume. Yes. The intoxicating elixir, pretty pretty yep. tough. Yep. I have an overlord over here. So, you know, if you lose your warlord, you lose... Four victory points to the enemy. Also, at the end of the game, you will gain three victory points for getting behind enemy lines. Uh, that is just have a unit in the enemy deployment zone at the end of the game. These are all old school objectives, just uh, bringing them back into 10th edition. And uh, first blood uh, to both players. So if you kill a unit in the first battle round of the game, you'll gain two victory points. And then the same is true for your opponent in the first battle round. You know, if you overextend to try and get that kill and you fail, they have the opportunity to punish you right back. And then that will equate to nine total tertiary points. I say nine because it's easier to show a nine than a ten on a d10. Other than the zero is uh, not that impactful. Anyways. I want to point out how we're going to play terrain. So, oh, by all means. We're playing in my studio today and on my channel, Mountain Ventures. I play terrain not that different than most people, but a little bit different. So, you know how you can't see through ruins? Yep. We play the same way, except for the actual ruined walls. We say they're completely sealed off and you physically can't see through them at all. Even if you can have true line sight to the model, you can't see through these walls. However, when you have a gap like here where there's no wall, you can see into it following the normal ru rules for ruins yep. afterwards. Yep, the so gaps the, have a very specific yeah, purpose for that. Physical pieces of plastic, you can, no matter what, cannot draw line sight through. You still pass through them. Like so pass through street. like ruins, yeah. but they're, consider every piece of plastic completely sealed, windows are uh, fogged over. It's like, it, it's the fog of war, essentially. There's yeah. like, there's smoke, debris, uh, it's like, it's too tight of a shot to even take a shot. You might see a shadow zip pass, but you're not gonna waste your ammunition, right? That's the idea there. Or waste the energy of your ammunition, all that kind of stuff. That's how I like to look at it, and that helps me get into the, uh, the idea of it. And it gives you better mechanical gameplay as yeah, well. Yeah, I it's think it dynamic. greatly improves the game. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot more dynamic gameplay where you have to and fight in the ruins themselves. Before enemy yeah. says, well, that's a weird house rule, it's kind of, kind of, kind of, but kind of not. Just some, like, I imagine if I just replaced all this really cool looking terrain with flat pieces of cardboard that yes. you couldn't physically see through. That's the only difference. Yep. All we're doing is we're taking the flat cardboard angles and it's punching holes from so it looks cool. Yeah, it's just you get cool looking terrain and good mechanical yeah. terrain as well. As yeah. opposed to playing with uh, just hard angles, it's, like styrofoam. Yeah, it's yeah. much closer to like turn on S terrain where it's just flat pieces of styrofoam walls you can't see through. We're gonna play that style of terrain, but it looks cool with this style, with this mod, these models. Yeah, a lot more, you get that dynamic approach to the game, you get the good mechanical use out of it as well. So it'll be first turn for the Iron Warriors, we're gonna draw a couple cards for them, and uh, we're gonna see how we uh, go here. I do have a scout move I could make, I just don't feel like I need to, so I'm just gonna hang out where I am. I could hide the bikes behind line of sight, but... I don't think you're afraid of my shooting too much. I'm not either. too afraid of your shooting either. And we got reanimators. You know what? I am gonna scout move these guys near that reanimator. That's the only thing I'll do. Just that. And turn one, Iron Warriors. All right, bro, my cards on turn one are overwhelming force. I gotta kill things on objectives. Uh, it's kind of hard to kill Necrons as a whole anyway, so you're probably not gonna score that one. But then I drew no prisoners. Oh, okay, well, let's just kill things. So I'm not gonna score any cards turn one. I'll get an extra command point, though. You will get a command point, yep. You know, if I scouted an extra target potential on for, uh, uh, what's it called, the eliminate? No, it's not. Uh, overwhelming force. Overwhelming force, yeah. But hopefully they can't kill the Tomb Blades. There are only two wounds each. There's only 12 wounds in the unit, but. Uh, here's hoping. <laughs> and I'll show off the scorecard. I'm actually gonna be player two in this case with the yellow dice. Steve will be player one, using the D10s on the top for primary, tens and singles, D10s in the middle for secondaries, tens and singles, and this will keep track of our tertiary scores. First blood, the warlord, and all that stuff. Command points and turn number. It's all pretty self-explanatory, but you know, I like to show it off anyways, and it is available at the Mini War Gaming Forge. You can get SDLs if you want to print it yourself, made to order in whatever color combination you want, or just bare plastic and paint it yourself like Steve did. Technically, he had a prototype that wasn't printed in color, so he got one that he had to paint, but I think the painted ones look better. 
They require more work, obviously. Hey, Sarah, what are you doing for your well, phase? Well, no command phase things to do. My turn's gonna be super simple. It's gonna be before and after shot. I'm just gonna run up a bunch and no I no command I'll, phase, eh? Nothing to do. Mm -hmm. I am gonna do a couple of pot shots. Um, see if I can make Luca roll terrible reanimation rolls. But yeah, uh, I'm just gonna run a lot. All right, so this is where everything begins. I'm gonna show you where it ends. All right, so as Steve said, everything pretty much advanced. The Lord I think I rolled almost exclusively six. I rolled a single five for advance. Everything else was a six. Okay, well, everything brushed up the board pretty well. I mean, it's a pretty close combat-based army anyway, so it's going to be hard to... And the Legionnaires, the Lord Discordant, uh, the Venom Crawlers lingering in the back there. It's going to be hard to deal with this. Uh, we're going to have to go to scrapping, but that's what I got the Lich Guard for. I got another list in mind. It's going to be very Lich Guard heavy uh, for the Honorable Duels one. That's what we'll be playing next game, so I'm very excited for that. It'll, it'll, it'll resolve issues of fighting in ruins <laughs> in the future. And then we have uh, the Possessed and the Cultist and the Master of Possession up that way. We're good to go ahead and start shooting. Yeah, well, I'll start off with this Venom Crawler here. We're going to dump shots into the Destroyers because I don't want to take away your shooting. I don't think I care much about your mobility yet, so I'm going to go after your okay. firepower. All right. Um, threes to hit, and oh, sorry, we're always gonna do dark pack. Yes, yes. Uh, what's your toughness? Those guys are T six. So I'm gonna go with um, uh, my, my rule of thumb is I'm winning on four, so I'm going with sustained. If it's one, twos, threes, or fours, it'd be sustained. Yeah, and if I'm winning on five or six, I go with lethal. Yeah. With uh, reroll ones because I'm divided. Yes. And so we have uh, one more hit than shots. <laughs> That's a hit. And six, uh, three threes. Oh, okay, there it goes. There, oh, there, it, goes. there it goes. Two. Two wounds? Two. Gross. Uh, AP? One. One. Okay, well, I'll put the shots on this guy who we'll has some cover. Bloop. Uh, that's a fail. How much damage? Two. All right, well, he's got it. Next one on him. He's got one wound left. That was interesting. Pew, pew, pew. Pew. Oh, sorry, one wound left. I just said that. Who's next? The other, uh, the other Venom Crawler. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> every time you say that, every time you say here's that. Here's the thing, here's the thing. I'm going to go after your Lich Guard. That's just um, going to give me extra movement if you kill anyone. I well, Okay, here's the thing. <laughs> All right. I don't think you're going to want to come... Yeah, yeah, I'm doing it. Okay, let's talk about it. Luke, you could come after me with a Lich Guard, get extra movement, but I don't think he wants to do that yet. All right. Uh, but if I do really well and he rolls really poor saves, his double reanimation is not going to do anything. Anywhere else I fire, I'm not going to do any work. He, They are stealth as well. That's the enhancement the Technomancer has. That okay, I, well, it's them or the bikes, right? It's the only thing I can see. And I don't think, ah, screw it, let's go for the bikes. You're scaring me. Yeah. The bikes do not have stealth, they ignore. Into the Tomb Blades, hitting on threes. What's your toughness? Uh, I'm gonna have to double check. I believe it's five. Uh, so I'll be going with uh, sustained, but not that it matter, because I didn't get any. I owe you a test for the other guy in a second. I and the other do guys that. too, yeah, we'll do that afterwards. Threes to wound. We have five this time at minus one. Yes, I did not give them shield veins. I figured it, the idea is they're not going to get caught too, too, too much, so they don't need the extra save, and they, the mobility is going to be a little bit better. Plenty of guys in cover are going to be taking the wounds over here first, so four ups. Uh, that helps with two of them. And how much? Two damage each, right? Oh, uh, yes, sir. That does kill three of them. So pop. Oh, wow. Pop, 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 pop. Yes, they are only two wounds each. Boom, boom, boom. And then I will be popping Undying Legions on them for a command point. Uh, that'll allow them to immediately trigger a reanimate. It's only D3 wounds, but they are near this guy, so it'll be two D3 wounds when they come back. There's no character leading them either, and then you have to do dark pack check. So my reanimating is going to bring back uh, one, and one and a half of them. That guy stand over there, and this guy will come back with a wound. And uh, do we dark pack for the guy who just shot? Yep. He's going to take D3 wounds. <laughs> two dark pack for the other one. Uh, he's good. Seven. Yep. I forgot to actually put the model back. I said so. I lost three, right? And I get one and a half back, so I should have four and a half. So I could That's yeah, you're right, with you're the right. wound, yeah. Then the dark pack damage on this guy brings him down to seven. Unfortunately, not getting any. Yeah, I guess you could have got really lucky and popped the whole unit though. I did. Yeah, absolutely, got, like, absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. That would have got you actually five victory points too. Well, seven for first blood because he would have got to kill on, on an objective, kill the unit for no prisoners. Oh, and four points. For, that would have been a lot of points if you hit a lot of sixes. Holy, because we're playing on purge the foe as well. Like I, if I could, if I could have got double them, both of them on a unit, maybe I could do something. But yeah. Damn. I didn't. I, didn't, I just. I did not think about all of the things that could have gone yeah, wrong. Look, I, I think venom claws are damn good. I think they're really good. I think um, so too. Well, they're great range. They're not as good guns. as forge fiends, but I don't have any of those yet. Oh, I don't forge have fiends would have been three d three. Yeah. Blast shots. Yeah. Their strength ten, AP three, three damage. They're only a little bit more expensive. 
Yeah, and all day long you just do uh, um, not demon forge, uh, profane zeal. Reroll Re hits and wounds. Yeah, yeah. Tear through that. That was probably dead. Profane zeal should yeah. absolutely be a melee only. Uh, <laughs> that, that, I expect that strategy was going to get nerfed. Uh, you know what? I'll bet anything. Mark my words on this day. That strategy is getting nerfed in the, oh, the Caspian Club. One hundred yeah. prof profane zeal is way one of the best better. charges in the entire game. Yes, yes. <laughs> I and I, I'm, I play word bearers a lot. Unmarked profane zeal all the time. All, I can't, all, yeah, oh, all I love my. I didn't bring any obliterators today, but I love it on the obliterators. Yes. Oh. Yeah. For those of you who don't know. Um, it's a one command point strategy that you use on a unit that allows them to reroll hits and wound rolls of one. However, if the unit using the strategy is marked with undivided, which my army is, you reroll all the hit. And all the wound. Yes. And it's, there's certain units where that's super good. Uh, <laughs> well, especially when you're fishing for sustains or lethals. Yeah. And, or if you have the Liber Hereticus, it's real nasty yeah. too. Yeah. 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 All, all right. right. That's, a, that's my turn, Luke. I'm going I'm to get a command point when I describe my two cards. You want to get rid of both of them? I'm never going to kill one of your units. Well, I mean, at some point in the game, you will. I would hope. Uh, I would hope. Uh, <laughs> nice. I like the confidence. <laughs> all right. So you're going to get a command point for discarding a card. Uh, a no, I'm fine. I will keep no prisoners. Luca. I'm, gonna, I'm calling it, Luca baited me into keeping no prisoners. I've already won then. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, well then, let's go ahead and go to Necron's turn one and see what we draw. i uh, drawing, bring it down and behind enemy lines. I gotta get my eyes on the prize and destroy a vehicle and get a unit in Steve's territory. If Veil of Darkness worked on my turn, that would be perfect right now, but they, they have changed it since the last editions, justifiably so. It was too flexible before, so you have to have pretty good uh, hindsight <laughs> to be able to use it properly. And I say Venom Crawlers because this bad boy is demon and mounted, so he is not an applicable target. So all I really want to do is just try to get onto the objectives and try my best to. I'm I'm gonna brute. I'm gonna do a Lich Guard brute force tactic. I'm gonna maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. We'll see. I'm going to park their butts right on the middle there, acquire VPs, and hope for the best. But I also have to push you off of these objectives, so that's going to be kind of hard. But I'm going to use guns, and hopefully guns work. We'll see. We'll see how that works. Uh, in my command phase, I don't believe I have much to do other than reanimate. So I've got no orders or anything to give out. Uh, the only reanimates to trigger are these Tomb Blades and the Destroyers back there. So these two Blades are going to reanimate 2d3 because they're reanimator. I'm going to get four. They're back to full. And those destroyers will just get the two wounds back because they're beside a reanimator as well. Get a guy back over here, take that wound, and fix the other guys, and we're going to go right to movement. Uh, to summarize it, we're going to go into the ruins. We're just going to go into a gunfight, hope for the best. Uh, they're going to do that. They, Those immortals don't really know what they're going to do. I'm actually going to advance them. I'm going to see what they go. I'm just going to try and go right in there and see I get as many shots on them as I can. We're going to get the bikes going, we're going to get them going. We're going to keep the Locust Destroyers back here though. Might get them in range of that guy to get some shots on him, but that's about it. Let's see what they go. A six is a pretty spicy roll in their advance roll. The only downside to the amazing advance roll was that Steve's advance roll was also equally amazing. So he was able <laughs> to make it so I couldn't get too many models uh, over the runes that way because I can't get within an inch. But I was able to get three of the Immortals in that corner. The rest are going to linger back here. This, these are both acting as a speed bump for the Locust Destroyers. The way the movement worked here was I just advanced the reanimator. It got into the up and around the building, up to this position. And then I moved everything else to kind of focus around it. Because they are kind of a main focus of the list. But if they go down, they go down. They're, they're not, too, uh, not too important that I can't play without them. But I might as well use their aura while I have it. Now, I will note. My fa one of my favorite changes is actually them reducing the aura from 12 to 3 inches. Like, that's how ridiculous the or was it 6? I can't remember. It was 12 to 3. It was 12 to 3, yeah. Like, that's how substantial. Like, that thing was so over the top strong. You would just have it, like, back here, on behind line of sight, affecting both flanks of the battlefield if you daisy chain out. So all that did was reinforce daisy chaining, which I think is a horrible mechanic. So keeping this up here, I actually kind of wish you could like join into units somehow. That'd be kind of cool, like a Turbagon, Termagon. Well, I guess. Ooh, no, I don't want to yeah. shoot that thing down. Yeah, you, but you want to be able to shoot it, absolutely. So the way it works now is perfect. Uh, it kind of reminds me of Death and Sigmar, where you have to like, you don't really charge a lot. You let the enemy charge you when you have all your auras present. Anyways, then Tomb Blades moved up, the Destroyers moved up. And then on the other side of the battlefield, I advanced my Lich Guard 4, getting onto the objective and hunkering down in that ruin. Then same thing, pattern. The reanimator advanced to that position. I was gonna move the tomb blades to try and get some shots somewhere, but no matter where I put them, I would have had to like jump up this way to get shots that way, but then it'd be giving up my back objective. So they're gonna hang out back there. 
And the last thing I moved was the Immortals did a normal move into the runes to fire some Legionnaires. And that is kind of it. We are gonna go ahead and start shooting. I'm gonna start with... I guess I'll start with the Locust Destroyers, whatever. They're gonna go for that Venom Crawler in the back, because that's the only thing they have any line of sight to. Not all of them have range, though. Double checking some of the rules. They've changed a little bit. Uh, the hardware for destruction will come into play here. I got these five. This one's too far back to fire. We got these five firing their 15 shots at the Venom Crawl. And you want to use Dark Obfuscation? Please. Stealth! They get to hit on twos because of the Locust Lord, but Stealth is going to make it threes again. Fives are wounds because they got lethals on fives. Four, five. And then uh, we got... Uh, I'll have you know your stealth uh, mattered a lot. Wow, excellent. <laughs> and then we followed up just the five wounding hits. Just five. Want to go four up? And then, okay, that's 10 He's damage. Dead. He's died. Just, do you want to re-roll? Nope. Uh, uh, if I if I re-roll, he'll be alive with one. Yes, and you'll deny me. I bring it down as a secondary. And I also kill things for the primary. That'll give me, that's like nine victory points. But you have more shots. I got no choice. I have to, there's nine victory points. I was not going to fire at him with the other things. Yeah, but, but I, now you have yeah, to. Yeah, nine, no, for sure. And Sorry, uh, before you do that reroll, it's two, it's two command points for that reroll. Oh, shoot, I already rolled it. Uh, but I'll let you take no, it. No, I already rolled it. Oh, man, that's rough. Okay, yeah, well, what are you going to do? That's nice. Well, uh, yes, he's rolling hot garbage is what you're going to do. He, I don't like, think they have delayed to mine, but let me roll this real quick. I yeah, look of it course, up. naturally gonna roll the six. Uh, I gotta look it up. They for sure have deadly demise. I think. Well, these right? have worse deadly demise too. Yeah, because there's like it's gonna a kill, five. It's gonna kill my guys. It's probably only D three damage. Okay, They're actually, Locust Destroyer's yeah. got a nice yeah. buff in this uh, dynasty in, so, or in this uh, uh, D three. We're gonna lose one of these guys. That's so. only one mortal wound. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's they, right. One. And then them. One. One, and then them. D three cultists die. One. One. Okay. And then D. That's it. Yep. That's yeah. it. I, I forgot he was with the uh, Havocs. Uh that's that. Oh gosh, that's the guy who also rolled like fourteen twos to wound. It wasn't his day. It was not his day. Uh, no, not at all. I'm just putting. The, I'm just arbitrarily putting him down. He put the. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good right there. <laughs> Damn, that is a lot. That, that was that was lot. half my guns. Uh, that was that's also. Okay. That happens. Four victory points for no prisoners. Knock it off. Uh, or sorry, purge the foe. That's four victory. Actually, it adds eight. I never agreed. Eight to, victory I points. I never agreed to any of these rules. No, that's the main mission. It's eight. Oh, dang it! Because you killed nothing, I killed something. That's eight victory points. Two for first blood, and then my secondary objective. I never agreed to play this game with you. <laughs> we'll get a little behind the scenes, uh, but like I want to record Steve, but we keep ending up on the wrong side of the yeah. table. Behind me is where all the garbage is. Yeah, all the lights and everything. Yeah, so like this better backdrop there. Yep. I. I cannot believe the direction of this game. I'm just going to keep going. It's fine. Everything's yeah, it's fine. Just, uh, uh, that's a dead unit. That's cool. I'm going to go ahead and fire these two blades. I only have four that can see that one possessed there. These two can't see. That's as far as they can go. Uh, you want to fire at them? I would love to do that. I didn't consider that as an option. <laughs> <laughs> I would absolutely love to do that. Two firing their twin Tesla into the cultists are hitting on threes. Uh, we are going to have uh, five hits because of the six. They're sustained hits two. And these are strength five, so threes to wound, but they're twin linked. That is five saves on the cultist, no AP. Do ignore cover. <laughs> so I just, I, I was like, I bought the ignore's cover on them because I think that would be overall better than the stealth because the idea again is them to not get shot. But I'm like, oh, I'm playing against, but against Marines, that'll have next to no effect with this build. So probably the stealth is overall better. Going forward, I think I'm going to put stealth on them. But. Wait, don't they have a 6-up save? No, they have a 7-up. Coldest are 7-up saves? Yeah. Damn, what game am I playing? <laughs> going forward, I'm going to put stealth on them. But in this one situation, the ignore cover is kind of cool. Or a 6 Yeah, I was going to have leadership, not uh, save. All right, they're still 5 dead. Yeah, okay, still 5 dead. All right. Uh, these are into the possessed. Threes to hit them. Sixes are spicy. We got four. We have one more hit in there. Let's do in the possessed, though. They're toughness 6. Uh, we are twin-linked. We got one wound. And two, three, four wounds instead. Oh, I ignore cover. You got three up save though. I do no damage. They get a six inch move. I'm gonna push them towards the objective. Every, they can't charge though, but I don't really want them to charge. They're just here to screen in those possessed. I cannot allow the possessed to be free. <laughs> I'm gonna fire the three immortals that can fire into the possessed. I kinda wanna kill the cultists up now. You already got your 19 points. I know. Yeah, you know, I'll, save, I'll save it for yeah. future points. Yeah, I'll go for the possessed. Unfortunately, the Plasmancer does not have visibility to anything to zap. He, he couldn't, I, he didn't have the movement to get there either. So just those three guys. I really wanted to try and show off the new protocol, the Conquering Tyrant, I believe is the one, where instead of rolling wound rolls, it's rolling hit rolls. It's super spicy for this squad with this guy. But 
not in the best position to do it. But with those six guys, we still have six shots. So these are hitting on twos. Oh, I forgot the other guy. Yeah, well, the other guys weren't led. Uh, and we have six extra hits, which ain't bad. And five, that was just three guys. Five still in the possess. So imagine this times, uh, what, three times? So you have four or five. Yeah, it'd be about 15 wounds then, I guess. Uh, based off that one anecdotal roll. Just uh, one Ooh. damage. Oh, they have a feel no pain, though. Oh, it's six up. No. No, not quite. Not getting much done. That guy's down to two. Uh, that's it for shooting here. That's it for all my shooting over here. The only shooting I have left are the Immortals and the Ruins. I'm going to remember that Immortals have the if, if the Eternal Conquerors. They have an ability where they get to reroll wound rolls against enemies on objectives. So here's my reroll wound rolls. I was thinking, are these things twin link? They are, but they're technically not twin link. It's the Immortals rule. One more save on the Possessed. And look at that, folks. It didn't matter. And then the Ghost Blasters into the Legionnaires. And 20 shots for them hitting on twos. Sixes are wounds. Oh, fives are wounds, actually. Uh, and the ones just miss. Well, I was a fool. I should have used that strat. I didn't want to use the command point for the strat. <laughs> so far, we have six wounds because of lethal hits. The strat is pretty effective on these guys, too. But I like the spicy amount of dice you get from the Tesla guns instead. Plus, I kind of want to save the command point for defensive stuff. These are threes to... Oh, yeah, threes to and you're only T4. So that is the pool of wounds. Six, seven, uh, uh, ten, actually. Or eleven, sorry. Bad math. And three of saves. I will kill one. Yeah, one. One Legionnaire. And I'm gonna reroll those two ones there because I immediately forgot the rule I just talked about on the other Immortals. One more save. Hurry up. Hey, that's it. We're good. Uh, am I charging? No. Heck no. <laughs> Heck no. I will not be charging. So, at the end of my turn, I get points for bring it down. Based on, how many wounds does that thing have? Nine wounds? Nine. Killing that Venom Crawler behind the building here is only worth three victory points for the tactical draw. But I killed something for four victory points for the primary, and I killed the most things for an extra four points. That's 11 victory points for killing him. Technically 13 with the tertiary. Not bad. Not bad. Turn two for you. <laughs> and I like to give point updates at the end of every battle round. I just adjust the turn of the command points, so what it's going to be as we go to Steve's turn. But it's a primary, three secondary, two tertiary. Uh, for now, I should also note I discarded behind enemy lines to get an extra command point. That's why I'm at three. Oh my gosh, okay, you guys can make fun of me. I am so used to being player Buddy, one. Buddy, you know what? You're yellow and I'm green. Everybody knows that. <laughs> You're going to be player two now? <laughs> I'll be player two now. I'm just so used to being player one. And uh, they're fixed, so it's kind of like uh, back in the day, uh, for most of us, I suppose, that uh, when we were playing Mario Kart, you know, it's like giving up first place uh, for your first player controller. You only play on the top, right? So you, it's really weird playing from any other position. All right, still got uh, no prisoners. Got them. So like, yep, gonna get them. And then uh, I need to get another really good card to go along with my other really good card of no prisoners that Luca totally didn't talk me into keeping. And I drew new bring it down. Yep. I got vehicles. I got two vehicles. Uh, uh, there's one that I just can't see, and the other which I, you know what? I'm gonna get both these cards. You could you could charge the one you can't see. I'm actually going to. I don't know if I can fit around your lich card with my big base, but I'm going to try something. Okay. What we're talking about is this guy I, coming up and around. You know what, Luca? I actually don't think uh, you could charge three and a half wide. I need four and a half inches of clearance here, right? You could just charge from outside of the lich card and charge into the lich card and still fight. Them. Oh, I think I can fit. Oh, there you well, yeah, gonna... You had options either way, Buddy, though, because you could just charge from here. You ready for this? I want to see how many points I get. So this is uh, this is four A or. This is four or four for one, and then eight for more. Okay, so I have one, two, and then this one is probably you. I have uh, the three, three immortals or oh six. no, I'm just me. Never mind. So I got six on the immortals. Oh, then. I'll need them. Yes, they're gonna. Oh, they're not gonna battle shock. Yeah. Yes. The bikes are also two though. They'll be on one objective, two objectives. And then uh, you have that one there yeah. with the the cultists give you the two and the possessed are, are the possessed two as well. Oh, they're all. No, they're on all. It, they're all yeah, one. But they're yeah. all on it. Yeah. So that's eight victory points for Steve on primary. That's not bad. I needed to. Well, there's not much. I, I actually could have done nothing. I would. I needed to kill more possessed. It's gonna bring us right to movement though. Uh, we'll show you some of that off. Steve is being kind and allowing me to correct something I forgot. It's just the shooting on these guys, the plasma answer. I'm not going to do his gun. I don't care enough. But his uh, living lightning ability could help out a little. Well, they could both help out, but. Uh, living Lightning is, I roll 4d6 against the target unit within 18. Every four up is a mortal wound. So it's two mortal wounds to him. Then it's going to be a gun guy. Not the plasma gun guy, just this regular bolter gun guy. Unfortunately, I cannot get him. So I'll have to do that in a second. And his little lance thing. Oh, jeez. And then, hey. 
plus these rerolling because he's with Lich Guard. Four of them. Okay, just one. This four of save as a cover. Okay, good. The Lance does nothing, but I do kill the one with the mortal wounds. And then everything is fixed. We're moving the, what's he called? Uh, Disco Lord. But we're going to advance him because you, you you could charge and just still pile in and fight him from where you are. Uh, you, don't have to, you don't have to declare him as a charge. I know, but I don't yeah. want to fight the Lich Guard. Oh, you want to avoid the Lich Guard? But he, I, think I got Hero Convention. You can't avoid them. Yeah, but uh, then you're not spending uh, two command points elsewhere? We're pushing up with the Venom Crawler to try and pre prevent nastiness with the Lich Guard. And then here come the Havocs poking their head out with the Warp Smith. Points wise, Steve's in a pickle, so he's going super aggressive. Yep. It's okay. It's gonna work out too. I you know look. I'm gonna put these. They're gonna be in the lowest level. Yep, they're just on the upper level. But there. I got giant muckle hands. It's uh, all out aggression from the Iron Warriors here. This actually almost always works out for Steve. It, you know what? That's yeah. fair. So this is. I, I would not be surprised <laughs> if this just this pattern continues. So they're under the ruins there, and these cultists are lingering back here. They do make it sticky, by the way. And. Uh, yeah, but you can teleport, right? Uh, I have the Veil of Darkness. Yeah I'll, yeah, I'll just hold on. Shooting time! Yep, we're gonna go with the Havocs. They're gonna go ahead and fire at this guy right there. Okay. We are gonna go ahead and spend nothing. The Plasma Pistol will not supercharge, and we'll go after these bikes. Oh, absolutely. Let's Great. get that out of the way first. Plasma Pistol. Oh, the Flamer will go there as well. Plasma Pistol hits. Nice. And wounds. Yep, minus two. two. Minus two, so six up save. That is not a save. We get him a Flamer. Ooh, six shots. Oh, you know what? That's his flamer. I think he's. I think he's. The other guy's a flamer as well. Uh, what's your toughness? There are five. That's five wounds from the one flamer. Not bad. Take one wound from the plasma pistol, and then we save. Come on, die. Two of them. So that that, that finishes it off, and then a second bike dies. There is another flamer on the um, warp smith, but it's only strength three. Okay. <laughs> We're down two bikes, and uh, one more save. One more save. And that's two bikes. To me. Yeah, pull those two bikes there, get them out of here. And then... Last cannons! Ooh. Uh, oh, sorry, what, what's your toughness? Uh, six, you're gonna sustain here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, So that's it's gonna pretty... be six hits. Boom, boom, boom. Or lower than your strength, so yeah. it's like, it might be seven. Uh, so we're rooting on Three. twos. No, you're, you're strength 12. Oh, this actually will matter. Six saves? Ay. Oh, he doesn't have cover, sadly, so he makes two of them, so 4d6 damage. That's a pretty spicy roll. Uh, feel no pains on the first bit. Uh, he's only got two wounds left. That's the first half. Uh, he's dead. He goes down. Deadly demise? Not quite. Uh, if I was smart and towed him in the ruins, I would make two more of those saves. I was kind of willy nilly moving. How much though. did they over? That's a vehicle down. They got to oh. do a leadership. Hey. Oh, okay. D3. Oh, still only ones, though. Not a great cost at all. What's this? Oh, somebody up here. It was uh, some, yeah, one of those guys. Let's go ahead and fire into these destroyers. Do I want a pro, uh, profane zeal? If I had more command points, I would, so no. No, no, no okay. profane zeal. That's great, we're going profane zeal. And you know, I'm actually gonna go lethal. Lethal? So uh, we're hitting on threes. You just wanna reroll everything you fish for lethals? Uh, or just reroll the fails? No, I'll do the fails. All right. No sixes. No, nope, no, nope, not a six. Okay, fine. And then fours. Still get to reroll here, though. Oh, that's, that's go. a good, that's a fantastic start. Uh, that's a pretty spicy. The, the profane deals did nothing. It was just a good wound roll. They're devastating. The, um, I'm oh, lying. Yeah, I was going to say, I know they're not <laughs> devastating. Are they uh, ten. Uh, what strength are they? Six. So these don't. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, three's from my bed. Three up saves. Oh, that's a bad roll, though. That, that kills two. Two apiece. That kills two and brings one down a wound. Uh, to one wound. No reanimator nearby. Oh, but I'm going to, I'll do, just to keep them strong. Fair. I'm going to use Undying Legion on them to trigger a reanimate right now. I'm going to get D3 plus 1 back because they're lead. So they'll get 4 wounds back. That would kill, we'll say, doesn't really matter. This one and this one. If this guy goes down to 1, then he heals 2, and then this guy can come back with 2. Leadership. Hey. Okay. 4. Man. One. One more <laughs> 1. This is only 1. We're going here next. Uh, we're firing everything over. Yes. Uh, we'll throw a pistol over here. Uh, and then we're going to supercharge a plasma gun. Okay, yeah, yeah. Plasma gun. It missed. All right. Oh, oh then, uh, once. you real once. Yes, this is going to be, um, this will be a lethal. Oh, okay. There you go. Hit. Uh, it's a hit. And. Uh, strength seven. seven. Yes, that's a wound. Yeah. And then roll a random save. A six is good. No, Hazardous, don't forget. He's okay. That's a four. And then we have bolters. Uh, okay, let me do the bolt pistol into these guys because oh, I don't think yeah. you can see. You have a plasma pistol. Uh, that, that's what I meant. That's yeah. a, a bolt pistol. The bolt. Plasma pistol. But it missed. Auto yeah, cannon. Auto cannon will go next. Is this one over here? Yeah. Uh, we have one hit. 
Excellent. It actually hits on three for some reason. Oh, it's not heavy or anything, eh? Not four. Uh, heavy, it's yeah. wound. You know, I'm going to go check that. Uh, it might not matter. It doesn't. It doesn't matter. They do hit on fours with heavy. One, two, three. Three bolt guns? Guns downfield? Should be six shots. Uh, they're not rapid. Oh, oh wait, wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Old edition, old shots. edition, old edition. Yeah. I'll reroll ones. Boom. And these are looking for fives. We have four wounds. Three ups. Uh, that does finish one off and wound another. Finishes one off. Wounds another down to two. Four, four bolt pistols in the lich guard. Uh, we have a lethal. Oh, nice. Yep, six, six, six. Lethal. Uh, saving. Yes. And then you gotta do your psyker. Psyker, yep. Lab that's right. Lab push his psychic power. Who's it going for? Infernal gaze. We're gonna try to hurt you guys as much as we can. It's gonna be two shots. Right. Uh, we're hitting on threes. Okay. Oh, real ones. Yes. Unmarked. Okay. Nothing. Hazardous. Another one. No. Not today. <laughs> Not today. And then dark pact. Ah. You're good. So, we got a heavy flamer over here going after this guy. Um, I three roll ones against him as well. I forgot to pick as a target, but he's only valid valid target I could have picked for that ability. We have four hits with our flamer. Oh no, bonus is just four. Nah. Uh, yeah, but three. strength. Ooh, let me look at my strength. D six plus three. Yeah, yeah, and it's uh, strength six. So um, none of those. Wounds. It's, so just three wounds and AP one two damage. AP one two. Uh, you said some re rolls against him. I roll ones to wound. There only there, there's one. There's one. There was one in there. Yeah. Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. Because I. No, okay. doesn't matter. Good. I remember. I remember showing. I'm like, you said something about reroll ones, three saves at minus one. Well, we got cover, so we are gonna. It does ignore cover, but oh, okay. It's... Well, actually, it didn't matter there, I suppose, but it does ignore cover. Feel no pain? I take two. My reanimator, and then we're going. We're gonna go over here. Over here. Uh, if I had a command point, I throw grenades. Uh, let's go <laughs> ahead and fire a uh, Reaper auto cannon thing first. Oh, sustain or lethal over here? Uh, your toughness five, right? Lethals, then, yeah. Yeah, lethal for sure. For the bolters. For the bolters. Yeah. So Autokin apparently is hitting on fours, not threes, even though the thing still says threes. Uh, Does do... the app say threes? Uh, I don't know, because you're using it currently. Uh -oh. or, no, it's not good. Uh, we have a plasma gun. Would I supercharge this? Yes. Yes, I would. We have one hit. Oh, we're going to reroll ones. We have two hits. And we have two wounds. This is the bolt. Oh, is the plasma, plasma. gun? Plasma. Ooh, all right. Uh, fail, fail. Two dead. Two dead. Does he kill himself? He does. Oh, okay. Sure. He... We'll kill. I guess let's take two random guys over here. Why not? Be -do -be -do -be -do -be -do. One bolt gun. One bolt gun and four pistols. We're gonna reroll these ones, and we're wounding on fives. Here we got one lethal in there. We Three threes. Wounds. Bolters. Threes. That's two more dead. All right. Let's go immortals. <laughs> I one wound a piece. Yeah. Oh, I wouldn't have supercharged. Ah, oh, you know what? Too late. I did it. My guy. He did the oh, guy. Oh, there's no, no reason to supercharge. No, the guy didn't know. He didn't I, know. You can take it back. I wasn't even paying attention. Damn. Yeah, just one wound each. All right, uh, plasma pistol, not supercharged, because it never would, because the guy with a good weapon. Uh, oh, we no, that, no, no, it was good. a wound, it was a wound because he's lethal. Oh yeah, roll uh, six. Uh, that's a fail save, he's dead. Yeah, this is Still, I think, I, even after this first turn and first game, I just don't see the value in Immortals. There's way better off being Tar Pits as Warriors, sadly. And the one wound really, like, the Toughness 5 doesn't do it justice. They're a little too expensive for what they're doing still. Or, or if they could go up to 20. That'd be Ooh, that okay. would that would help too. Yeah, you can have a more expensive warrior brick. Uh, but that's it. Nothing Is that it for shooting? That's it. Nothing but charging time. Leadership. Oh yeah. Duck packed. They are taking D three wounds. D three. Still one. It's that's, only one. That's the guy. Well, he's got one wound left. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Oh, charge. Hey. Hey. Eight. Eight. All right. Like nothing against the immortals. They're paying a little bit more than the warrior, and like the stats you gain and the weapons you gain and the rules you gain feel like it's worth, but. Mechanically, with the Necrons, you just want big units, and just 10 doesn't cut it. Yeah, yeah, I agree. So if you want like a 10-man brick, you're better off just doing Warriors. But, like, if these guys can go to 20, I could see them being a lot more valuable. But then they might be too overbearing at T5 with a 3-up save, so they're, stu they're stuck in this place that just doesn't work. I don't get them either. Yeah, yeah, I'm with you. Like, don't get me wrong, with the Plasmancer, they hit absolutely hard, but you just look at them with, a, like, a stiff breeze and they fall over dead. Now, granted, of course, I put them in a position to get attacked like this, but it got to go for the objective, right? With the runes and everything, their guns aren't going to be super effective behind them, so they got to fight in the runes. Okay, going on to who the, the uh, possessed charging? Yeah, they're gonna go. Let's, let's see what the possessed can do over here. Oh, uh, sorry, both units, obviously, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna Overwatch or anything like that. I need the CPs uh, to, see, uh, to see what this guy does or what this guy does over here. Overwatch over there isn't uh, all that exhilarating. This one was tempting. I'll let you. I, I will say that one was kind of tempting. We'll send in the havocs. We'll send in the clowns. I have a plan. Sure. Seven works. We're gonna go all the way up to here, and I guess we're gonna follow up behind. So the goal here is right now. I'm gonna roll really high for their charge into them. 
Oh, so I that you. when I muck this up, they can go ahead and grab those guys. I'm gonna <laughs> land over. If I grab them, Luca, you're, nobody's gonna see this battle report. Yeah. Because it's gonna reject. We're not gonna upload it. Oh no, I put up all my battle reports no matter what. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hope you don't get it. I hope you don't. But so they're going after the the tomb blades. And we rolled an eight. An eight. Okay. Okay. So fair. Fair. We're fair. gonna go. There. And this guy will go into base over here. So this guy's as far as he can go. Is this. Warriors! Boom. Yeah, they're gonna be able to just you want to stay six away from these guys so I can't hear them intervene. What's next? Lord is Gordon! He's gotta go get him! The reanimator! I know what I rolled. Ten. Oh, you're, ten. Good. you're good. One more charge to do. We just gotta get these cultists up here. Oh, get more bodies. You never know if I need. Never know if I need more attacks there. I think for some, I'm in, a, I'm in a pretty big pickle. I'm just gonna go for the heroic intervention over here. It's gonna give up some victory point. I'm not gonna get more objectives than you anyway, so there's no. I don't lose anything by leaving this objective because I already got the four back here. But it gives me an opportunity to get this guy after he attacks, which might be kind of spicy. So I'll heroic intervene for a couple command points. Unfortunately, it's an epic deed. I can't use the uh, overlord's ability here. For command points. I roll a charge, and I will go ten. Nice. We'll go and fight him there. And then uh, I got no command points either. You know, your fancy fights first still, though. I don't get any bonus. Okay, charging. so we'll start over here. Yeah. There's a bunch of shenanigans I want to try to do. Like, I want to try to fight with them, do a little bit of damage, try them to do the damage, and like split my attacks with these guys to finish them off and then hurt them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't risk whiffing and not getting them. Yeah. Because if they're dead, they got them. Yeah. For sure. I need those guys. The Tomb Blades aren't going to live, but I need them to live. <laughs> I am going to go with my... This squad here, yeah, and we're going everything after the tomb. I'm not, I'm ignoring. Oh, them. you're not even gonna go for the immortals. I, I, I can't, I, I can't risk the play. If I can pin them down, that's way worth more than keeping them alive or killing that, them. That's fair. All right, everything, and we're gonna do. What's your toughness? Five. Yes. I'm tough, I'm strength six. Yes. So I'm wounding on. I'm gonna go for sustained. It makes sense. One of them will be unable to attack the tomb blades. It's further in the back. You have to go for the immortals, but it's still four attacking the tomb blades. Hitting on threes, rerolling the ones. That's another six. Uh, Lots of sustains. So I, they, they gain devastating wounds when they do a dark pact as yeah. well. And threes. Okay, they're just probably just dead. The three sixes there alone. Do, well, four sixes do it there. Yeah. Yep. Immortal? The immortals. Uh, roll, oh, three roll the ones. Hey, so uh, that's four hits. Uh, yeah. And four wounds. A minus two. Minus one. Four up. Hey, I lose uh, an immortal. These guys are all cut down. Boom, 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 boom. And then we got ourselves. One dead immortal, which I was losing from over here, I suppose. And then you owe me a dark pack check. I will one day remember that I have to do these. We're good. Okay. The legionnaires are going to pile here, in. And we're, we're all the way up to here. We're going to tag them. I know we're going to take some hits. Oh, yeah. That guy's got a pretty good melee weapon. So at least you'll be able but to. It's, it's better to pin you down. These guys are going to do the same thing. They're going to pile in. Part of me wonders if it's more damage. It's technically a pretty similar amount of damage, but you pick where the damage goes. They're not going to consolidate. The cultists will also. Do I want to send them in? No, right. they're, they're fine right there. All right. And then we'll go over my Lord Discord, and we're going to throw everything after the points. Yes, the reanimator. In a dark pack, he's, we're going to remember he's Slan Ash, so he gets uh, sustained hits. So we'll start off with the Impaler Chain Lathe. He's sitting on twos. Fives are good. Uh, so he's got six hits with that. Yes. Uh, this is Lance on the charge, oh, or Lance. So he's wounding on threes. Okay. Because it's strength six. Three of that minus two. We're going to make none of the saves. And that's six, six damage. damage. The first one, we take n one. And then none. We take one. Take one? Okay. I should note these guys have four feel no pains. They Same as last time. You never really got to see it too much because everyone was hiding them behind buildings. Uh, we have bladed limbs. We're hitting on threes. Fives are good. Okay. we got that many hits. Lots of hits. Uh, this is wounding off fours, though. All right. Just two. Minus one. Four ups. Fail one. Make one, two damage, three damage? Uh, two damage. I take one. I got one thing left, the Techno Virus Injector. That's two hits. Gross. Uh, this thing is wounding on two, anti-vehicle two. Nice. We got two at minus three. Uh, oh, sixes. Hey, fail them. Two damage each. Okay, first one for dramatic effect. No, Luca, don't do it. Don't do it. He lives. No, he's got one left. I can't believe it. You couldn't kill a reanimator. And if we mention anything about rolling ones to wound, uh, that was only for shooting, yeah. for a shooting attack. So he lived with one. Oh, that's, 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 that's so cool, though. <laughs> that's pretty big. That's pretty big for me. I will. Oh, he's gonna. He's, he can heal right back up to fall my turn. No. He's got the technomancer there too. Yeah. <laughs> Don't beat up the boss. Oh, uh, there's more fighting over there. Yeah, yeah, you gotta do your legionnaires on my immortals. If my immortals can survive this, I'll be pretty happy. 
Before that, we have the Dark Pact on the boss man. Hey. He's got good. Oh, okay. D3. But he, he takes one and he does not ignore it. Takes one. He's got nine wounds left. Nine wounds left. And then we're going to do all the bulk and attacks. You want to do lethal. Lethals, yes. Let me get this other way. Yeah. So we're hitting on threes. Sixes are spicy. Five. And fives. There's so two. Two at no AP. Uh, we're going to lose one guy. Let's pluck one guy there so I know. And we got four guys with chain swords. We got one miss, two misses. And we're looking for fives. Still fives, yep. Six Not of them. Bad. And uh, okay, well, their heavier armor helps out a little bit there. I still lose three. I got one guy left. And I think you have the axe guy and mm -hmm. the sorcerer. The mortals have entered the wrong neighborhood. And then the heavy melee weapon is a threes to hit. We're rolling ones. Oh, nice. Uh, we got that. a wound in there, yep. And then we got three to wound. Okay. Right. AP2? AP2. AP2 two. Five up. No, not quite feeling it. We're down to the character, and we have the Psyker to attack with. Right, so first of all, he's going to stab his friend and do more wound to him, but uh, he dies. Yep. Kill that plasma gun. He didn't deserve to live. Um, does, he and then, give, does he give a feel no pain to this unit or only demons? Uh, no, to his unit. Okay, well, you would have had a couple feel no pain rolls. No, no I, I've been rolling them. You've been rolling them? I've been rolling them, sorry. All right. Nice doing things on camera. Okay, uh, well, not, I'm not holding the camera. Okay, so we're plus one hit and wound. With our staff of possession, are you a psyker? Nope. All right, we're here on twos then. Magic stick. And then we're wounding on twos. Yes. Minus one for D3. Play as answer. Uh, he's going to make, oh. I got All of them? To save is. Really great roll. He only fails the one save. He's got four at base. Hey, you take three. He's got one wound left. And piling in a little bit. Dark Pact, you're good. I will fight back. I'm just going to start here and work my way down the table. He's got his little plasmic lance there. He hits neither time. It was a good try, though. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know what? This one's dramatic. I'll do this one last. I lied about going through all the motions. I'm going to pile in these... Uh, destroyers and strike with them though. They got some hitting power. Four attacks with the Lord's Blade. They've all piled in. They're all able to attack. Twos to hit and twos to wound. Uh, he kills one and you have two saves. Hey! He kills two more. And then the other Locust Destroyers hitting on twos because they're being led and wounding on fours, I guess. Uh, three saves, no AP. Hey. Uh, nothing. The Lord does work. He kills up a couple of them, obviously keeping you know engagement going here. And uh, that is, oh yeah, my immortals. Really gonna pile them in. The only guy I'd really care to get in is him. He's a little too far away to get in. He'd be like stuck on the outside of the wall and that won't be, ah, that would be within an inch, Never mind. This guy will fight from here. This guy will fight from here. We'll do that. Those four are gonna fight into that guy there. And then those three are gonna fight on that side. Those three are just gonna keep it real. Keeping reality in check in that alleyway. 10 attacks from the immortals on twos. They're being led. Uh, no re-rolls. Uh, we wounded the possessed on fives, but we get to re-roll because they are on an objective and we hate their guts. Uh, okay, that's not bad. Six wounds. Three ups! And then they'll have a feel no pain if you fail any. Fail two, actually. Hey, oh, he's still two. alive! Oh, nice. He had, he had two wounds left. Yes, I see what happened there. Okay, yep. So I have a six up, sorry, six up, feel no pain. And then we have the plasmans. Fours to hit. Oh, he misses as well. They both miss the dummies. Hey, we're doing not bad here in melee. Let's uh, see if this can account for anything. They're just all going to attack this way. I am going to use the Overlord's ability to do a battle tactic on them without spending any command points, making it free. I believe it is called Hungry Void. It makes them strength 7. That's irrelevant, but it does give them AP 3. So it just means you have your invuln to rely on. It'll be 30 attack from all the Lich Guard. Uh, these are the first bit hitting on twos because of being led. I got two misses. It gets a little difficult. I need fives to hurt this guy. So the first half, we got four. And the second volley, we got quite a bit more misses. Well, just two more misses. And fives. So four. Oh, eight wounds. Right to your invuln. It's pretty much a five up rerollable. Oh, uh, okay, okay, okay. Make two and then see if the intoxicating elixir can help out. Oh, so a little bit, we so take four. four. We got him down to five, and then the Overlord can go. I could get lucky with the Void Scythe here. Three attacks, twos, I believe. Oh, the one definitely misses. And I, I would love sixes. Oh, nice. That's uh, three damage. Oh, you got feel in the pain, though. Yep. Devastating wounds. And then a wound. The wound? Uh, you fail that. So it's... Six damage? Yeah, six damage. Feel in the pains. Three damage yeah. to swing? Yep. Oh! He's dead? Yep. I killed him with the Overlord. Well, the Overlord finished him off. Deadly Demise. Oh, Deadly Demise. He doesn't have it. Oh, he's not a vehicle. <laughs> he's, he's not a mounted. vehicle. Yeah. All right. Well, we took him out. Cost you got him just. Uh, oh, Dang. I, I did actually. Wow. Actually, it was just, wasn't it? It was just. 
Ah, uh, do you wait a second? You have five. I'm top. I'm th I thought you had four. You might be alive. No, no, no. I think I, I picked the dice. Check oh, I'll I'm check dead. the clip. I'll check. Yeah, the clip. yeah, I'm yeah. dead. And uh, yep, just double check the clip. Make sure it was exactly enough to kill him. So, huh? I don't know if I got lucky or rolled. I think it was a combination of Steve rolling bad war, like wards or feeling no pains, and I didn't really, really, really roll that many wound rolls on the Lich card either. So it kind of comes out in the end of the wash, I guess. That's a pretty average. It would have come down to the Overlord in the end there. So, okay. Well, uh, that puts the kill tally so far on your turn. You got Immortals, you got a Reanimator, and you got my Tomb Blades. That's three kills. Myself, I killed the Lord Discordon, I suppose. That's it. You'll be up by two. And for victory points, no prisoners. Yeah, you got five points for no prisoners. That's pretty good because I killed enough things. And you get three victory points for killing the one vehicle because it was tactically drawn. So you'll get yourself eight victory points in secondary. And then we'll both get any command points. Steve's not discarding anything because he scored both his cards. And we're going to go to turn two for the deck bronze. The two cards I'll draw this turn will be Extend Battle Line and Defend Stronghold. I can easily do Extend Battle Line. I'd like to say I could easily do Defend Stronghold, but that one's always iffy, so who knows? Definitely caught in weird situations where it doesn't work out that nicely. Okay, command phase. I gotta do some battle shocks, that's for sure. This Plasmancer is gonna be... Well, I gotta look up leaderships now. Who knows? Everything's new. This is good! This... Reanimator needs to roll. That's a fail. He's gonna be battle shocked. Not the reanimator. Don't believe that'll matter too, too, too much for him. And that's it. That's all my battle shocks. I'm gonna go ahead and do my reanimates. The plasmancer here is gonna heal back up to full. And the reanimator will help heal himself a little bit, and he'll go up to five wounds. Oop. And then the technomancer will heal him a little bit later. And those poor locust destroyers over there are gonna reanimate just D3. One wound, boo, boo. Yeah, we'll have to fix them up a little bit later, I think. Uh, I'm going to need to do a lot of weird things to help out. The Venom Crawler is going to be a pain in the butt to deal with. So are these la la pretty much everything over here is going to be a pain in the butt to deal with. So we're going to have to try and make that work. Uh, oh, i got to reanimate these uh, Immortals as well. D3. That's a 1. I was apparently only really missing one. So, hey, welcome back. That should be it. That's the end of the command phase. I'll score 4 victory points for controlling one objective. All right, we're going to go to movement. Uh, should note... To the rules that uh, I implemented in my game, Steve's Forelord is dead. I get four victory points for it as well. Angry. I know, I know. No, it's, to, like, it's fine. It's cool. It's to represent the the weight of losing the Warlord. I gotta worry about this. I gotta extend my battle line. So I think I don't like to do it, but the Lich is gonna go deal with the Venom Crawler, I guess. Uh, just so I don't have to worry about him. I am going to retreat the Plasmancer, and we're gonna have. I'm gonna retreat the Plasmancer more into the ruins, like out and in, I suspect. And then I'm going to have the Lich Guard move towards the Venom Crawler. I'm going to have these Tomb Blades shift to this side of the table. And then I have to decide what to do with these two units. But I'll be right back once I do all those. All right, just coming over here to show that off the Plasmancer. Go bloop, blooped over there. He's going to just try and zap him with lightning. Even though he retreated, it's just an ability he does in the shooting phase. The Lich Guard just moved up to go deal with the Venom Crawler. And then we moved, um, well, technically I moved the Reanimator over there first. And then the Technomancer in the, uh, is going to heal him. Let's do that now. doesn't really matter. And then the Tomb Blades shifted their focus to this side of the battlefield because they won't be able to see into this ruin. So I want to put pressure on the road, I suppose. And then I have to decide on what to do with these Immortals. They're going to fall back. I know that much. And they're going to make a line. And uh, they're going to have to act as a speed bump again for the Possessed. But I want to pull the Possessed out of the building. That's kind of the hopes here. I'm just going to vacate to this general area here. Can't quite get too close to the uh, Warp Smith there. So he's blocking a lot of that off. Uh, but I'm pretty happy with this move. The question is, I either fall these... <sighs> might, might, might as well just do it anyways. Ah, uh, but that means I'd have to... I want to use that Resurrection Orb here. I'm missing six wounds worth of models. So I kind of want to get that Res Orb going here. Some Resurrection Orb action. And deal with these freaking guys here. Uh, and then have the Possessed be... Yeah. Or maybe they just stay in there. Maybe, maybe. I'll just keep them in there. I'll just keep scrapping with the Lord's Blade and everything. So we're going to go to the end of the movement phase. I'm going to use this Resurrection Orb. It activates the reanimation protocols. It's once per game now, which Resurrection Orbs have always been once per game throughout the history of Necrons. I don't know why it worked every command phase. It was very powerful. 
Uh, now it's a lot more dynamic. That once poof, crack it and use up his energies. It heals D6 wounds worth warriors instead of D3, but it does act count as activating reanimation protocols, which means the reanimator makes it D6 plus D3. So D6 plus D3. There you go. So it's six wounds, well, seven wounds worth, but I'm only missing six wounds. We'll get the destroyers back here. Boom and boom. They're back to full strength. And the resorb is now done. And we're good to go to shooting. I am going to do a couple of preliminary things here. I'm going to have this guy, this reanimator, fire at the cultists here. It's best thing to do is kill cultists whenever possible. Six attacks on fours. Oh, he's spicy today. These are strength six minus two, I believe. So it's twos to kill. There's actually five cultists there. So there's one left. It makes sense to keep the one in the ruins. Hey. I gotta kill him. I am going to go ahead and fire the tomb blades. I'm going to put one of the tomb blades into the cultist, the one in the back there. And then these other five tomb blades are going to put shots into the Havocs, I guess, because it's the only thing they can really see. Oh, I kind of want to go for the Possess, though. You know what? I'll go for the Possess. What am I talking about? I've got five of them able to see this one Possess kind of out in the open. He's in the ruins, but uh, got no AP here, so. Look into C6s. Threes to hit. I wonder if there's any way to... Well, I guess there's that one enhancement to make them give them plus one to hit, I suppose. Anyways, this many hits. These are wounding possessed on fives with twin linked. We got three wounding hits. Uh, okay, we got five wounding hits on possessed. Grip saves. And uh, feel, the, feel the pain. Uh, one damage? Yeah. Ah, still can't get him. Into the one cultist. Oh my gosh. That's hilarious. I've got to kill that cultist more than anything because I can't let you get a sticky objective on there. So I'm going to have the living lightning from the. I'm going to roll four dice every four up is a mortal wound on the cultist. Come on, I would have liked to do like a couple damage to the possessed or something, but... And again, it's not a shooting attack. This is an ability he does in the shooting phase. So I do two more ones to the cultist. We got the cultist out of here. Boom. And then... Uh, this guy is going to living lightning them, because that's the only thing you can really see. Maybe I get lucky and kill a marine or two. I'll kill him. Well, you have a feel no pain. Feel no pain. I'll kill a marine and wound another. That guy dead? No, wound on that guy. That's kind of all I got for shooting. Oh, the Technomancer can fire. Hey, look at that. I'll put his shots into the Havocs there. Why the heck not? Pretty much all I got for shooting. I got the Technomancer here with the staff. I'll just put into the Havocs. Range is kind of whatever, and I'm pretty sure I'm just going to kill this thing, so. Oh. It's a roll, but it amounts to nothing. Are they T5 on Havocs still? Yes. Yeah. Fours. One wound on the Havocs at minus two. Hey. One damage. I really hurt. There's a little bit of damage on him. Okay, that's going to be it for shooting. I'm going to go on to charging. And I will charge the reanim. I'm going to charge the Lich Guard in here first, I guess. That's my only charge, really. Seven. Going in there. And then uh, I'm going to have the reanimator declare charge into the Iron Warrior uh, Legionaries as well. To make it weird. A weird fight. Just to mitigate some of the hits on my, uh, what's it called? Locust there. I want him to eat them instead. And that's it for charging. I don't think there's much we gotta do here. I will fight here first. I have 30 attacks with the Lich Guard again. You know what, let's just see if the Overlord can do it on his own. I hate doing him first, because if he flubs it, it makes the other guy so much more stressful. Two's to hit with the Overlord. Ah, okay, well, that's a rough start. And, okay, three damage. It's just devastating wounds. That helps. Three? Yeah. Staff, twos, three misses. Uh, what's your toughness on him? Eight? Uh, nine. Okay, yeah, there's no point in doing uh, plus one strength. So far, four wounds, and twos, and four, fives. So four wounds, five, six, seven, eight wounds at five up. Uh, I don't, oh wait, I nope. used to explode on fives, but they don't have that no more. I think no, Deadly Demise is yeah. just, uh, I'm sure they have maybe some unit that has a Deadly Demise on a five. He used to be, like we said, but I am going to consolidate towards the objective. Then the reanimator charged. Four attacks, he hits twice, he's not lead or anything, and he wounds once. Strength five, not four. Hey, nothing. To no one's surprise. And then you may go. I'll fight him. <laughs> Everything's going to attack the big reanimator. Okay, fair. Oh, the sorcerer. I thought the sorcerer gave the unit stealth. It's just negative one hit for all attacks. And it's all attacks. So I, I thought it was just for shooting as well. I didn't. I'm hoping the lord wouldn't have mattered too much because he hits on twos. I think, wait a second. Okay, good to know. The lord is the only thing that did any damage, I believe, and he hits on ones, so... We're going lethal India. Yep, that's fair. Um, you know what? What? Does it behoove me to kill this thing? Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm feeling like I'm gonna I'm gonna go uh, I'm gonna go um, profane zeal. Profane zeal. Okay. okay. 
So we're gonna hit on threes with the psych sorcerer first. We're gonna re-roll everything. Uh, nice. Okay, we got five hits. You do sustain? I uh, went lethal. You're right. Yep. Two hits. Two. Yeah, two wounds. Yep. Uh, and then four wounds. Right. He's got four ups. We make th two. Oh, beautiful averages. D3. Uh, four. And we take, sorry, one. One. All right. Hand weapons. Ooh, a couple wounds. Uh, we're hitting on threes. I think I'm just gonna go for sixes. Yeah, just go for the lethals. I get that. Oh, okay. wow, sure. Two wounds. Okay. Two wounds. They have three up save on them. Uh, it fails both. Hey, uh, he takes one. Chain swords. Like it was fish for sixes? Yeah. Yeah. Looking for sixes. Lethals. Okay. Damn. Really yep. There's a four. In the, that's a, that oh, was a four. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I already rolled that then. Oh, perfect. Yep. And fives? Yeah. Okay, yes. we didn't do bad. We have seven. And we're going to save. We fail two. And we take two. And then the... Um, the big, oh, big weapon. weapon. I'm not going to roll this one. Yep. So threes and threes. We got three at minus two. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty good. Boom. We save all two of them. Uh, two damage. And you feel these both? We got them. Uh, we got them, folks. Very good. Okay, now the last roll two there. Dramatic. There goes the, the reanimator. I didn't expect you to do profane zeal there. I, you know what? I was like, I, 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 Fair. I, it's one of those moments where like, oh, he's got me again. Yeah. So I just gonna go, just go hope, hope for the All best right. and let Fair. luck get me. Well, I'm gonna go with the locust destroyers and see if we can cut up a few more of them. Just the two I reanimated in the back won't be able to fight, but there's more wounds. Let's go with the Lord though. Again, he hits on ones, so twos to hit. Uh, these are fancy. These are twos to wound. He kills, you have one save. That kills two more guys though. Uh, he kills three guys. He's just cutting them up. Boom, boom, boom. And eight attacks from the actual Locust Destroyers. Now they hit on their threes to hit back up to threes, so the two misses. I need to do a test real quick. I don't want to forget it. Your Dark Pact, yep. yeah. Let's double six it. I wound twice. Uh, do, do they... Let's reroll all hit rolls against the nearest guy. Yeah, okay, so they got changed in that regard. There's no reroll wound rolls here. Uh, you're good. No damage. Okay. Do you want to come back in? Mmm... Mm, I'd rather Overwatch. Rather Overwatch with them, I think, or the Immortals. It's one of the two. Or going back in is kind of cool too, you know. <laughs> I don't love the idea of going back in here, but I kind of want to go back in here just to at least shift over this way. Some. I think it's the right call. Keep putting pressure on them. That Lord's Blade's chewing through him. It's doing something. So it's the end of my turn. I will score extend battle line because boop, I got the guys in the middle here for five points and defend stronghold. I'm halfway to doing it, but I honestly don't care about three command points, victory points. I'd rather have the command point. So I will discard that and go up to three command points at the end of the turn. I'll give you an overview on the score here. Oh, uh, for killing things, I believe Steve definitely killed. He killed like four of my units. I killed two of his. I killed what I, I killed the cultists. That might actually kind the Venom Crawler and the Lord. You three, yeah. Yeah, but you killed both my reanimators, my immortals, and uh, the Tomb Blades for the four. Yeah, so you got it. So we both get four points, but you're going to get eight or four additional ones. All right, just an update on the score. Uh, we are pretty tied. Oh, sorry, I got to update that. Uh, we're actually tied on primary and secondary. Exactly. I forgot to increase this by five for extent battle lines. Uh, but yeah, I got the tertiary game going for now. Actual score is 24 to 24. I got 30, though. I got, uh, investigate signals. There's no way we will do it this turn. Gotta get in the corners and do actions. An attempting target. Luke has got to pick an objective in no man's land. I gotta go score it. He's gonna pick the center one, so I will not be scoring any cards this turn. Do I want to spend one command point to redraw? It's too risky. Yeah, so the attempting target will be there in the middle. And then that is, uh... I got, look, you can stay right there recording. I gotta advance these cultists. I rolled a three. And I want to see... It's not gonna be enough to do what I need to do. All right, but fair. we're going to do it anyway. Fair. So we're just going to... I'll try and screen the... Uh... <laughs> we're not going to be able to. You're going to be able to fit through. But this... You know what? We're not going to be able to. So... Fair. Uh, we're going to just... Yeah, you have nothing to do with the command phase, eh? Who's nothing to do with the command points? phase. Okay. No battle shocks either. Uh, right there, I do. No, they're at five. Oh, they're at five. They're at five, five of 11. 11, yeah. yeah. They are... They are battle, battle shocked. shocked. I don't know if that matters. Doesn't matter. I'm not going to command points. Uh, no movement. Got the battle shock up. Okay, that's uh, that, that's the command phase. Oh, scoring! You get. Oh, I have all four, eight victory points because you got more than me. I have, you know, I have the middle one and that one. That's Fair. not all of them. I meant, I meant, add more. Yeah. Can you get ready to wrap your guy? Just go up this way. Yeah. Yeah. I'll go moving those guys around. The plasmants are going to deal with him. So you he know can't what? Grief I will move. All right. 
Any Overwatch? No, I'm not doing anything. Right, I'm gonna <laughs> shoot. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're well, shooting. We're actually gonna put, um, uh, jeez. I'm gonna put, man, I hate, I hate your reanimation. Which one? Oh, you. <laughs> All of them? All of them. <laughs> do they even care about killing bikes? I don't know. Cause you're gonna go jump ahead. I'm not gonna do enough to make a difference. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and Oh man, sorry, I'm taking too long. Uh, we're gonna put the flamers in the plasma here and put the last cannons into the bikes. Why not? Sure. Last cannons into the bikes. Oh, sorry, what's your toughness? Uh, you're gonna do sustain on these. Of course I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, three wounds. Three, yeah, T10. Uh, sorry, T5. Uh, three wounds, four up save, no save. Real cover on them either, so roll up the. They're all dead. Yeah, this is. They're minimum two damage. Yeah, it kills three bikes. Nah, I don't really care. The CPs are used elsewhere. The bikes just. Don't seem to be that valuable. Well, that's technically a ghost blaster. I'm just gonna put this guy in his place. We've got three bikes now. All the flamers into the immortals. Uh, two, two of the flamers. I'm not gonna fire at them. Oh, the immortals? Yeah, I'm not gonna waste time. Oh, okay. Um, charging. Hey, charging. Uh, we're gonna go after the immortals with the uh, demons here. Yes. What they get? Eight. Eight. Yeah, I can't overwatch them. I can't see them. I'm gonna go. Uh, they're gonna charge in over this way. And then we're gonna go charge around over there. I'm not gonna roll. I'm gonna kill that. Plasma oh, answer plasma answer. Yeah, I'll go show you where you stop. Let's go you. first and just go muck in. Do this fight first. Showing off what we mean by the poor plasma answer. He's being surrounded by these legionnaires. We're just getting the dice ready over here. Are you just putting everything into the immortals? Yeah, I'm not going to do anything. Yeah, this is, yeah, that's all I need. Okay. Oh, we're going to go um, sustained. sustained yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait. I owe you a check for my havoc, which I forgot to do. Oh, yes. Hey, right, D3s. Uh, Three! Guy. Oh, two guys die. Yeah, we got two havocs now. That's actually, you're fitting a lot of dark packs. Yeah. Can they have an icon? Nope, they nope. can't. No icon for the Havocs. No Havocs, no icon for them. This guy using Havocs on the right size bases. All uh, right, I'm doing it right. So we're hitting on threes into your duder. Yes. Oh man, this is bad. All right, that's fine. We're not gonna kill them all. Oh, wait, uh, wait, you're sustained. Four yep. more, yeah. And then threes. Boom, 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 boom. We got three dead. Yep. Oh, wow, I should have profane zealed. Four saves, eh? There was four ones to hit, which you get to Reroll. Hey, another oh, lethal. That's no more hit. Or another sustain, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And these are threes to wound. So this way saves. There we go. Okay, so three are dead. And then pull. Oh, yeah, that's right. These six are that. Yeah, three are dead. And how many? Five, eight, six. Eight. Uh, these are five ups. Got to roll pretty well. No, here. these are four ups. These, these are, are all eight. Yeah, well, no, it didn't matter. It didn't matter at all. The, that's that's the difference between the immortal and the warrior. It didn't matter at all. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna kill four, six, seven, eight, nine. There's one left, and you have this psyker to attack with. Yep. I'm not gonna shank anybody. <gasps> okay. Uh, okay. Two more hits. Uh, do you have the two might not hit there? Does he have twos? I yeah. thought he did. I'll double check. Right, you're right. You're right. And threes. Hey. Uh, He's got devastating wounds because the unit did uh, the possessed help him out as well. Actually, he's a really good battle psyker with that unit. Yep. Uh, especially when he stabs things too. Okay, so I owe you two saves that are four ups. I uh, will pass one and fail one. So that's, that immortal's dead. And then my guy takes 3d3 devastating wounds. He is also dead. That clears out my immortals. Dark back. They're good on a six. Hey, they are in it to win. They're gonna consolidate in there. And then I get to go with me. Well, with I didn't go over there, but not gonna be roll, right? Uh, no, he's gone. I don't care about okay. him. He's dead. The plasma, <laughs> the plasma are over there and the runes are dead. Uh, let's go with, he does get, he gets full reroll to hit and wound against these guys now because they're below half strength. Oh. Uh, then these ones are going to go, I'm going to put, uh, they're supposed to be base. So these are going to attack that way and then these guys are going to attack that way. So three in the back and three in the front plus the Lord. Into the sorcerer's unit, uh, I'm going to hit on twos, rerolling my misses. Oh yes, I chose not to fire my pistols, everybody. Uh, you can if you want to. No. Yes. <laughs> I seriously choose not to. <laughs> uh, then these are twos to wound. And uh, I'll just take that. These are AP three or two or something like that. Uh, five or sixes? I kill three of them. That no. is AP three. It's a war scythe. We just have the Psyker left. Oh, I guess I beat him up with the, the butts the of unit? my locust destroyers. Don't give me the butts. Uh, still, still. And then da 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 da. Uh, they don't get to reroll wounds. It's just two wounding hits on him. Yep. No, my. Uh, okay, well, I'll take one. He's got three, three wounds, left. Three wounds left? Oh, man. The attacks into the possessed. These are twos to hit them. And uh, oh, it's only ranged attacks they reroll. Uh, oh, one save. Look at that. Feel no pain. Ah! Got him. Ah, yeah, got him. That's big. <laughs> finally got him. I've been him. trying to get him for a long time now. <laughs> that is. Uh, oh, I got it. And then this guy dies. Oh. Who get to go with the Psyker? Yeah, though? we're going to go ahead and do your toughness six, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, 
sustained. Sure. <laughs> For chaos. Yeah! All right, fourth hit, nice, nice. Fours. Three. Uh, three, minus one. Three at minus one, four ups. Or we make all of them. Okay. Uh, and then, yeah, does he die? Seven, no, he's good. On the dark back check. Okay, that is probably the... <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 get on in there, get <laughs> in there. What were, uh, you went first, right? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. So score-wise, your secondaries, they're both kind of, you're going to get they're rid of them. They're discarding both, yeah. Yeah, get a command point. You're going to go up to two, Man. three, because you didn't do anything this turn with command points. You saved the profane zeal, and it was just enough to kill that unit. Good call. All right, uh, we are going to go to my turn three. Well, like I said, I got rid of Defend Stronghold. I would have gotten it, but I was a little too afraid of some shenanigans from Steve. So I instead draw no prisoners, I kill things, all feasible, and then deploy Teleport Homer. Eh, I won't worry about that one too much. I could use the Tomb Blades for it, but we'll see if they have the movement. Uh, I'm trying to think of what I had to do in my command phase. Nothing is battle shocked. I only got three units left, but they're beefy units, so I'm gonna have to make it work with them. It's gonna be Unleash the Lich Guard. We're gonna scrap over there for a little bit, and I gotta make these guys free to Veil of Darkness somewhere and do something. So I gotta kill those two units. Oh, if I can kill the Warpsmith, the Havocs, and the Sorcerer, which I should be able to do, and then tie up the Possessed, that'll allow me to, uh, what's it called? Uh, get no prisoners, I guess. And then, yeah, we're gonna reanimate things. The only thing I have to reanimate is the Tomb Blades who are missing, I get uh, a guy and a half back. There's a couple guys back there. One is wounded though, and we're gonna go to scoring. I get four whole victory points because I don't have, we still tied. I don't have more than you because that one's sticky in the back. That one no one controls and you have this one. So you have two, I have two. And for movement, we're just going to have the Lich Guard go into that little opening there. We're just charging everything. And then these Tomb Blades are going to move this way. They're going to move up there. The other nice thing about the Tomb Blades uh, with the Tesla Carbines is that they're assault. So they can advance and zip around. They go 16 inches. They're going to go this way then up and over, I think. With Fly. So yeah, they're all going to go around this way. As long as they get within six of the middle. And they're assault weapons, so they're still el eligible to shoot. Therefore, they can deploy teleport homers and say, we need help here from the Tomb Worlds or the Tomb Ship. Please send reinforcements. Let's give up my back objective, but we'll worry about that later. Uh, these Locust Destroyers are going to retreat. Come over to the side to show it off. They've been... They're not happy to retreat. They're destroyers, but they've done enough work, I think. Uh, for shooting, uh, it's going to be easy. I'm just going to start deploying Teleport Homer with those Tomb Blades there near the objective, as long as we're within six of the middle, which is that objective. And then uh, we're going to go ahead and start charging. These Lich Guard are going to clear a charge against the Sorcerer, the Possessed, and the Havocs. No Overwatch, so they're going to charge seven. Uh, collectively charging in something like this. This one guy could get in base contact with the Sorcerer, so I guess I thought that was kind of cool. So I guess the Technomancer will do the same thing. We'll have a little nerd fight. And uh, we're going to go to fighting. We're just fighting right her. I uh, I need to make sure I kill things, and I'm not, gar not super convinced I'll be killing the Possessed that easily, so I'm going to put focus on these three units instead. I'm going to put all of these into the Havocs, including the Overlord. Uh, this guy is going to help out over there as well. These three have to hit the Possessed. And I guess these two are going to go for the Sorcerer. Oh, jeez, no, that guy's going to help out with the Sorcerer. These two and the Technomancer and the Sorcerer, boom. Then these four and him into the Havocs and their leader. And then he'll help out there. Then three The Lord's the not going after the Possessed? Nah, I don't care about that. They're not going to kill me back. I'm just going to hold them up and try okay. to kill them. I, I, want, I need to kill three things to get points. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, makes sense. Start this off by trying to take out the... Uh, well, you know what? I have it available. I'll use... I wonder if it would it go to strength seven. Yeah, it actually does matter going to strength seven. I'll use Hungry Void on them uh, for free with the Overlord. Gives them, strength, it gives them strength seven, which all um, begins to possess. I do have... Uh, and it'll make matter. them AP three as well. Use Infernal Rites for two command points. Yeah, only to see if I can stop from scoring something. Maybe maybe that Warpsmith will survive. We'll go ahead and start with the Sorcerer. I got the two Lich Guard fighting him for six I don't attacks. think you're much going to hit me anymore. I think he's the only one I'm leading He's the only one he's leading you, yeah. I would assume. I'll roll and see if it matters. It doesn't matter, actually. Yeah. They hit on twos. Uh, wounding you on strength seven, so threes. Okay, five wounds at minus three on him. Oh. I assume he just got six up six. Yeah, yeah he's got no he did. Yep. Yeah. We cut off his head. Boom. And then we had only three Lich Guard attacking the possessed. These are twos. No negatives. Got a few misses in there. And threes for strength seven. That's uh, four wounds on possessed. They got demonic saves. Oh, nice. Only two damage and the field no pain. Oh, we don't kill him. We got down to one wound though. And then I got the Lord. 
plus six Lich Guard into the Havoc. And the attacks from the Lich Guard first on twos into the Havocs. We've got a couple of misses. And then threes. A couple twos in there. Uh, and these are only going to be AP two because of Infernal Rites. So four, eight, twelve at minus two. Four at a time because of two was each. Ah, uh, that kills one. One. Two. Oh, no, it kills the other. It kills them. It should uh, be. Because AP two, you only have five ups. It's AP three normally. Oh, you did do the extra yes, AP. Because it gets me the plus. Oh! One. Do you not want you take back no, no, the no, no. right? Yeah. No, you know what? Screw it. I, I actually I thought you weren't doing it. Okay. But that's okay. That's okay. Maybe maybe it'll work out anyway. Uh, so they're both dead. So now we're gonna be four ups. Four ups. Yeah. Uh, it, it, helped. It, it kept me alive. There you go. I got one wound left. <laughs> oh, we got the overlord though. Oh. Did the overlord do it? Ah, uh, it's a good start. Uh, these are strength thirteen. So that is uh, three saves at minus four. Six ups. Oh, uh, minus three. Sorry, minus three. Because the guy. Five ups. And no. He did. He did. So that's three. That's no prisoners there. And then that's it. I'm done. You get to fight back with the uh, possessed. Let's go. You're a little less insane. Let's re roll these ones. And okay. We've got a few sixes in there. I think just two. Two, yeah. Lots of hits. And threes. Sixes are good. Uh, yeah. Boop, boop, boop. So we have five ten saves. Ten saves. And four ups. Uh, we save these many. Boop, boop, boop. These are all two damage still, though. Uh, so I got to do these before the devastating wounds. So I'll do these one at a time. First guy, Technomancer. That's uh, a dead guy. Technomancer. So he'll eat one, and then he will die. So I've lost two. Uh, three. And four. And then I have three devastating wounds I got to do. So the first guy... We can do one the other. Oh, no, you can't anymore. Yeah, yeah. anymore, yeah. The, the, and then, so he eats two of them and dies. And then the third guy, third one, is takes a wound. And the Psyker. Uh, we're going to do, so we are going to do uh, plus one hit and wound. Are we going to roll these? Yep. Hey. Uh, and that's going to be, ba-boom. And two. Uh, twos. Twos, yeah. Uh, oh, so yeah, these first, these are minus one. Four ups. Oh, damn. Uh, D3 damage each. Might as well roll them. Yeah, first one, uh, one, second one. One and two. One, one, two, so... The guy with the wound left is dead, and then that guy saves that, and then boom, boom, boom he's Goes dead down. too. So that's another one dead, and then I owe you, you have to roll those one at a time as well. Yeah. Three, and then four. So the guy with three eats it. Okay. And then he'll eat, oh, he just takes one from five devastating wounds, he takes one wound. All right. All right, let's see if I kill my guy. And then. I do. Oh, feel no pain. And yep. I stab him to power myself up. And you gotta do a dark pact. Uh, yeah. Dark, dark pack check. Huh. We get to reroll it. I think oh, I six, you're past. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's going to kill a good amount of Lich Guard, but the part of the plan was... One, two, three, four. And then we were going to we're gonna use a command point on Undying Legion. We're going to trigger the reanimation protocols for D3 plus one. We're going to get back one of the Lich Guard, and then one more with a wound. And then at the end of the fight phase, we're going to trigger the Resurrection Orb. Yeah. And get D6 wounds worth of Lich Guard back. Yeah, oh, only oh, back wow. up to full. Yeah, and the reanimator would be kind of nice for that, but it was a good, good job killing him. But most importantly, the lich guard is still there holding. <laughs> then this guy was piling. Stay coherent. All right, that's not too bad. Not too bad. We can weather the storm. At the end of my turn, I finished deploying my teleport homer, and I got five points for no prisoners, so I will get eight points on secondaries. But I won't get any extra command points. But I'm already at three, so we're, we're probably fine. So at the end of battle round three, I'll be at 36 with the primary and secondary, and Steve will be at 32. So I got a four point lead. And we're gonna see what Steve scores here, because he's kind of tied up with his units. We'll see if we can make it work. All right, so it's looking rough, but we have a way of getting a few more points. So we're gonna draw a couple of cards real quick, see if we can score them. Storm hostile objective, we're gonna score that, and the area now we can't score. Okay. So I'm gonna throw that away right now. Uh, we're gonna meet the first thing we gotta do right away is advance these cultists. Because they gotta do double duty. Yep. They're gonna storm hostile and get on this objective and prevent Luca from scoring a couple more points. I'm gonna try to uh, overwatch them. Yeah, I've never mind. They can't see them. No overwatch there. I might, so, I'll might. i just overwatch them when they. So they are actually um, a six inch run away from getting on this objective. Okay. So they can't get there. So that'll. Oh, so here, staying in combat, Luca kills me. Me falling back to this objective, Luca kills me and gets the objective. So the smart thing to do is stay in the open and let Luca figure out what he's gonna do in his turn. Right. In fact, no, we're going to stay in the open and try to block this a little bit. I do have a Veil of Darkness at the end of your turn. I'm going to... Which you're going to get over there. Yeah, which I'll go over there. I end my turn. Right. I will get Storm Hostile Objective. Yeah, because you take that from me. And uh, uh, that's it. So that's five points. You would have scored eight points on primary as well, though, because yes. you had you had one objective, two objectives. I didn't have this objective, so I only have the one. 
So yeah. it would be another eight point primary for you. Then we go to my turn. I'm looking good on points. It's a, it's but, a I, but obviously I have nothing left to play the game. Yeah, well, I'm gonna try and it'll be what I can clear out here on my cards and then whatever I'm able to like kind of clean up with on uh, yeah. secondaries. Though killing things would be big here for me. If I can kill a couple units, I'll get the eight points there. The two cards I draw will be overwhelming force and attempting target. We're gonna attempt over there. Attempt this one, fair. And then you're gonna get that for killing my cultists. Yeah, I'll get three points for killing my cultists there. Okay, well, oh, I was supposed to veil the darkness. Um, forgot to do it. It might be better to wait anyway, so oh, I'll, I'll- Don't you do it right now? I uh, know I have to do it at the end of your turn. Before I draw oh, cards. Oh, yes. is that yeah. new for this book? That's new for this index. This oh, edition. index was the same way? Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Uh, Veil of Darkness was always low. Oh, that's powerful. right. You told me that earlier because you didn't. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair, fair, fair. Yeah. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, it doesn't I was really... able to get points though, so I'm, 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 I'm happy. Reanimate here. Uh, back up to full and reanimate over there. Uh, oof, two more guys back. Getting a couple guys back on the left there. We're going to move these guys here. They're going to move on to the objective, I guess. Boo, 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 just right. jumping up and around. I'm not going to make you roll that. I should <laughs> appear spite, but I want to be a better person. I'm trying to grow. Boom, boom. And then I get, oh, actually, they were, I don't know why he's wounded. Boo, boo, boo. Uh, I can't really, well, uh, so that's one unit on objective killed. I just leave them to do whatever they want. And uh, I guess I will go and uh, charge. Sh shoot. Uh, do I want to shoot them or charge them? Mm. I'll just save die rolling. I'll just charge in. I don't really care about shooting. doesn't really matter. Charge in and five. They're all in, ready to fight. We're gonna cut up some of these guys. I'll make them strength. Do you want a infernal rights or anything? Uh, you do, are you gonna do extra AP? Yeah. Then I'm not going yeah, to. Yeah, at some point, yeah. Who's <laughs> to hit them? Cleaning them up, hopefully. Uh, a couple misses. And threes to wound because of strength seven with the hungry void. Five ups. I can roll them all together because you all have five involved. Yeah, they're all the same. Okay. And feel the pains. Oh, well, I guess they roll them all together. Yeah, all one all damage. Sixes. Oh, oh that's pretty nice. good. So you healed one, two, and the banner's got two wounds left. And we got the Lord. What can he do? Twos. Good start. Uh, twos. Okay, you take Devastating, right? Yeah, two. Nice. Those are, that's a save, and then... So I uh, three feel no pains on him. Yeah. And then the Psyker has... He's dead. Six feel no pains on the Psyker. I think I lose it. Let me double check. You do, technically, but I like to play with it. It's more thematic that way. Oh, me. it happens at yeah. once? Fair. Ah, it's... He did it anyway. It doesn't matter, yeah, yeah. It's one of those, like, yeah, technically, but I do what I want kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> you got eight points for that, though. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of points. They will consolidate onto the objective, and then Steve would do his turn, whatever he wants with them. You know what? Well, they, they can't get me anything other than... Uh, let's see here. I drew secure no man's land and defend stronghold. Oh, which I can't do anyway, so no more yeah. points for me. So it's Lucas. Well, you could defend Stronghold at the end of my turn. No, because I'll just veil though. Oh, you, you're you're veiling on the end. Yes, yeah. I'll yeah. veil at the end of this turn here. Yep. They would veil over there. I am. Yeah. I'm gonna get four more points, and I am all other scoring for this game. Right. That's kind of what the end of turn four looks like. Steve drew his two cards. He'll get his. What was your? You got one of them. No, you get four points on primary. You go to thirty-six. Four points primary. on primary. Four points on primary because we both have two objectives, and you only have the one. And then I would do my turn, and draw my cards quickly. I'm going to fail at the end of Steve's turn, and I would draw, investigate signals, and engage in all fronts. All you got to do is teleport on my objective, and the game's over. Yeah, yeah. I don't have to. I won't worry about that. Engage in all fronts. I'll get two point, three points for yep. it because I'll have three table quarters. I guess. Yeah, the tomb blades and all that stuff. Locust destroyers would set up over here, getting this table quarter and stealing this objective. Not that that matters too, too, too much. But. Closer than I thought. It was, yeah, it was a really close game. I liked it. Then I would shift these things around over that way for that table quarter, and then they would yeah, yeah. go this you. way, I guess. So yeah, they go really there. Boom. They advance they that go, way, they go this yeah. way. Boom. I can't get this table quarter, but I'll still get three points for that. I don't care about investigate signals. Uh, I wouldn't kill anything, but neither would you, so we wouldn't get primary for we that. We had a good brawl. And then I score the objectives at the end of my turn. Yeah, you prevent my card. You got... Uh, That'd be eight, because yeah, I hold nice. more. Yeah. Well, actually, no, I only have two still. <laughs> so I only get four still for primary. That's fine. Oh, I guess that, that I, I could technically get eight points on the primary and give up Investigate or sur sur uh, what's it called? Uh, and extend Battle. No, <laughs> Investigate no, Signal is not it. Uh, uh, gauge on fronts. Gauge on fronts. <laughs> yeah, technically, that's more valuable. They just go back there to get the thing, and I scuff both my secondaries, which is fine. I guess I could draw another one. I don't care. It doesn't matter. <laughs> this will be the score, assuming I don't go for the primary and I go for the secondary instead. So nothing killed. I would score four points at the end of my turn for 36. We tie on the primary. Nine points. Oh, and plus your tertiary. Which I would get. Oh, no, mine's, I got 10. Boop, boop, boop. You got, oh, this is not, yes. Yes, you did. <laughs> you could, uh. So I only lost by eight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, I'm very proud of the tertiary. I could have conceded a long time ago. <laughs> I thought the game was a lot closer. Damn it, Lucas. Well, it's a made up, it's a made up rule. <laughs> I don't, like, it's, it's one of those I things, for, like, I, I, I introduced it to a game that 
Like I a, remember playing, but it's hard to kind of get back. I into also I introduced yeah. to my games where um, if you if you army's fully painted, you do get the ten points. Yeah. But if your army was not painted by you, you lose the ten points. Ooh. And if your army was painted by like you painted your own army, you gain an additional ten. So I'm getting twenty more points. I'm adding rule two. <laughs> I'm getting twenty points for uh, painting my own army. Luca, he painted some of his army, so I'm gonna give him five points. I got two models. I painted. Boom, the Sawtech ones. I'll give you I'll give you credit for five points on that. But the fact that you have three different paint oh, schemes. I technically painted the reanimators too. Nice. But there you oh, but you have three different paint schemes in this list. Yeah. So uh, I'm gonna do I have three paint yeah. schemes. I saw some snow bases. I saw oh, your yeah, yeah. bases. Yeah, yeah. I saw yeah. So That's I'm gonna fair. I'm gonna deduct a further three point six points. That's true. And then um I think I took the victory. I didn't do the I didn't do the snow bases. I guess I'll I'll accept that. Yeah. Uh, so this is uh, the Awakened Dynasties. This is the old Necron detachment. This is the okay, new we, version. You of have it. to pick your brain now. Yeah. 